Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and in this video I'm gonna be preparing to go back to school and essentially getting my life together I have this huge long list of things I need to accomplish in the next few days And I highly recommend you guys try some of these things out if you're going to be returning to school or just need help getting organized So without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Good morning guys So I just woke up and I made a mistake on an application thing that I did last night So I had to call student office at Waterloo and then I have to send an email and then also fill out like a form or something and I'm just mad because I really just wish I filled out the application correctly the first time so I wouldn't have to go through this I don't even know how I messed it up it's literally a straightforward application so I'm very bad at adulting clearly and now I'm going to do all the stuff that she told me to do so So I've said this in a bunch of other videos that you should always keep your study spaces clear and that doesn't just refer to your physical space but also your digital one. So obviously I have identity to keep all of my website bookmarks in order but one thing that definitely needs to be cleaned out in my life is my email inbox. So I actually got this from one of my friends Daisy and I checked how many emails I have in my inbox last night and I literally have over 2,000. It's definitely time to declutter it and just delete things I don't need anymore. So that is what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. finished clearing that one corner of my room that was kind of a mess. Here are all the boxes and bags that I need to flatten and put into their cycling and all the things that were in the boxes are going to get organized in my new drawer. Now that I flattened all of these boxes, I'm gonna go take this out to the recycling and then clean the rest of my room. So as you guys can see, I have this huge stack of papers and notebooks that I need to sort through so I can keep them and put them in this drawer. It's one of those Alex drawers from Ikea. So I'm just gonna start organizing these papers and throwing out what I don't need. And I'm gonna to try to be as selective as possible because I really don't need any of this, but I high key have attachment issues to all the papers I've ever written on. So I'm gonna try and not do that today. and things that are mainly sorted already and this is all recycling and this is the pile of stuff that I want to keep. I'm actually pretty proud of myself because I'm going to be recycling this huge stack of loose papers and then I grouped all the pages that I want to keep here and I'm organizing them using the slicky sheets. And this is all just my research meeting minutes I guess you could say and then these are all math tests. I have some like old artwork that I did last year during quarantine because I was so bored. This is just what one drawer looks like. 
I actually have to find a binder to put all of these. Here's just more agendas. And then in this big drawer, I just have a bunch of random stuff. I'm actually going to be building a mechanical keyboard. So that's why I have these two things in the middle, but I just have a bunch of boxes lining the outside because they're so pretty. I don't want to throw them out. The next thing that I need to do to prepare for school is to do some goal setting. So I do this over in my Notion because I look at it every single day and it's just a great place to have reminders. So I'm going to be making two goal lists, one for school and one for my personal life. Fall 2021 goals and fall 2021 habits to develop. So it's really important to set both realistic and quantifiable goals. When I say realistic, you need to make these goals that are in your control. So it shouldn't be things like I'm going to get a 90 on this test. It should be more like I'm going to study for X amount of hours for X amount of days. But that is also an example of a minor goal. The goals that I'm going to be setting in this session are going to be my major goals that look at an overview of the semester, which is like four months long. Minor goals are more like one to two week long things. I just think setting goals has made a big difference in my productivity and my motivation. So basically what I'm trying to say is that you guys should try and set some goals because it's really helped me focus on the things that I really want. And I'm really going to take my time when I make this list because it should be applicable for the entire semester. So I do need to think ahead and also just be mindful of my ability because I never want to set myself up for failure with unrealistic goals. And after this, I'm just going to recap some of them with you guys. These are the goals that I have set for myself for the last four months of 2021. They're actually pretty similar to my New Year's resolutions, but feel free to pause the video and screenshot this for inspiration. And also keep in mind that these are specific to me and my lifestyle and aren't a one size fits all. I probably sound super congested right now, but the only thing that I want to do to wind down and to prepare for school is to watch some anime and I want to watch my comfort anime. Hey guys, so it is a new day and the next thing that is on my list is to cut my hair. But I'm actually not going to be cutting the ends today because I cannot see my hair to get that perfect U shape or even a perfectly straight line across the back. So I'm going to leave that to my friend Kobe who cuts my hair. So I'm going to be cutting my bangs today. So I'm just going to get cutting and I hope Brad Mondo never sees this video. So this is the difference in the hair right now. You can just see one side's a lot longer. I think I'm gonna do the other side before going in to take off more because I can't add hair back. This compared to the other side needs to be a little bit shorter. I think I'm just going to leave it as that. They're a little choppy, but I think it's fine. It'll work. So, yeah. <laughs> and one of the last things on my to-do list is to just work out. So here I am doing a 30-minute workout. I'm just following along a YouTube video. I'll have the ones that I specifically use linked in the description box below because everyone is always asking me what my workout routine is. Wait, please slow down. Whoa. 